I could probably finish all of that in like about 40 minutes. The, the pizzas? Yeah, all of it. We have a fellow competitive eater in the house. Legend. Good morning, good morning. It's another early one. It's freezing today. We're at Destination Gym. It's chest day. And then we're headed to Austin tonight. Or this afternoon, I should say. Oh, for some pizza. Deep dish, Chicago pizza. Looking forward to that. But I'm um, gonna get chest done first, guys. Let's do this. Chest day at Destination Dallas Gym. Can it get any better? I always like to start my chest workout with an incline movement. But in this place, there's so many machines to choose from, I had to use two. And then move on to my regular flat movement. And then finished off with some dips and some tricep extensions. Who doesn't love a bit of a pump before a pizza challenge? All right, gym is done. Chest, triceps, what a session. What a gym. Built by bodybuilders for bodybuilders. Such a good gym. But um, it's now obviously daylight. It's not any warmer. It's still very cold. So we've got some long pants and a jumper. And then we're going to head to Austin. It's about a four hour, three and a half hour, four hour drive. And then uh, we're going to smash some pizza. So see you soon, guys. From a crisp, cold and dark morning, the day turned out really nice. And the drive to Austin went really fast, which is a good thing because I was starving. Okay, we have arrived at Conan's, a Conan the Barbarian themed restaurant that serves up different kinds of pizza. Sounds just fun to me. At Conan's, they're serving up four different kinds of pizza. You've got your pan base, which is a deep dish. You've got your thin base, and you can also choose between wheat and white. So I ordered their signature, the Savage Deep Dish Pizza, and then a wheat white barbecue chicken because I wanted to try something different. And of course, I had to get some pepperoni rolls. Hey guys, what's going on? James here, Jay Webby Kenny. We're in Austin and tonight we're at Conan's Pizza North. I have their signature Savage Deep Dish Pizza. You know I love deep dish and I love barbecue chicken. So I've got their thin crust, wheat based barbecue chicken pizza, some pepperoni rolls because why not, ranch marinara because we're in America. Guys, let's do this, I'm hungry, let's do this. You guys ready? <laughs> All right, three, two, one, let's go. All right, barbecue chicken. Mmm, wheat base is so good. I'm glad you like it. Mmm. glad you liked it too. <laughs> Thank you for being in my video. You're welcome. Okay, time to get down to business. Obviously, I'm starting with the barbecue chicken and the wheat base because it's something I've never had before. Obviously, everybody knows I love barbecue chicken, but this wheat base added a little bit of extra sweetness and chewiness. I really enjoyed it. Check it out. Like it's like fancy. Ah. Mm. The crust was sort of like in a braided shape which was really interesting because the crust was really crunchy, but the base was really chewy and had a sweet aftertaste. Yum, man. Wheat base, I've never had it before, but it's actually really good. I was definitely enjoying this one. Just over three minutes down and I had two slices to go. The manager was telling me that one of these pizzas normally serves three to four people. Thank you. Mm -hmm. The best part was, the workers in the kitchen were watching my live stream, so they knew exactly when I was running out of drink. All right, four minutes down, it's time to move on to the deep dish. How is it? Delicious. Let's yeah. see how the savage goes, eh? I could probably finish all of that in like about 40 minutes. The, the pizzas? Yeah, all of them. We have a fellow competitive eater in the house. Legend. Don't try this at home, kids. But I love the banter. That's pretty gosh darn impressive, sir. It's delicious. Thank you. This savage deep dish pizza is a different animal. It's literally some of the thickest deep dish I've had and literally every topping you could think of. And so much cheese. And don't get me wrong, it was absolutely delicious. But when they told me people normally opt for one slice per meal, I could understand why.
How's that ranch? Yeah, our ranch is the bomb. Make that in house. Can confirm, their ranch is boss. And it was helping this go down really easily. <laughs> Don't try this at home. 11 minutes in, it was really starting to hit me. I was eating and eating, and I felt like this deep dish wasn't disappearing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Little legends. <laughs> I appreciate their support, but I don't blame them. I think it was time for them to have a civilized dinner together. So we're at 13 minutes. We've got three slices of the... Bro, where do you put it? I had to push the chair a little bit back, my stomach. Okay, I actually did kind of see that. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm fixing to burn off. You might want to sink over there and get a selfie, brother? Of course, do whatever. Oh, man. Nice to meet you, my friend. You too, brother. I appreciate you. Love a mid-food challenge selfie. Fair legend. Killed it, man. Thank you, thank you. See, pizza makes everyone happy. Always time for the people. And speaking of time, it was time to give this meal the business. I was almost there. I could see the finish line. But man, I was so full. Uh, well. All right, two pieces of pie left. It was around about this time I was thinking to myself, I probably should have had the pepperoni rolls first. Rookie mistake, but it's too late to turn back now. All right, so funny story. Over here watching your live feed, and I noticed that your diets are gone, so I got you another oh. one. I appreciate it, my friend. Thank you so much. What a legend. Thank you. No, that is service. Legends. Uh, uh, ooh. Thank you, guys. See, what did I tell you? These guys were so cool, watching in the back whilst getting to work. Absolute legends. Last piece of the pie. 20 minutes down, and we're on the last slice of the pie. This is a huge milestone. This amount of pizza would cover 8 to 10 people normally. To all you Aussie pizza shops out there, get some garlic knots, pepperoni rolls, ranch sauce, and of course, some marinara. I know why this thing is called Savage. It's huge. Nice. You got to the pep rolls. How are they? These things are so good. We don't have these in Australia. What's the go-to in Australia? Pizza-wise, we have like wood-fired pizza, but we don't have deep dish. We don't have pepperoni rolls. We don't have garlic knots. And we don't normally dip anything in ranch sauce. So like a pizza shop probably doesn't even have ranch sauce. Oh. But like, it's so normal here, right? Dip your crust in ranch and stuff. It's so normal here. So good. <laughs> I'm glad you like this. I love it. I've definitely consumed enough cheese and dough for a small family. Almost a small village, in fact. This was a lot of food. But here we go. Almost 26 minutes down and we're on to the last pepperoni roll. Last thing. Boom, and just like that, we are done. A little Diet Coke refill to push us over the line and we are good to go. Ah, there you have it, guys. 26 minutes, 34. Oh. Ah. Uh. That's definitely enough dough and cheese to last the family for at least two days. But it took these guys 35 minutes to make and prepare this. Did it in <laughs> under 30, 26 minutes. How good's that? Oh man, but I'm so full. That Savage Pizza definitely lives up to its name. It is savage, but that was delicious. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Conan's Pizza North, guys, Austin. Legit. 
I'll catch you on the next one.